moving through the forest and suddenly you know, I'm out into daylight. And this is the reason why this whole area of forest has just been smashed by an avalanche. And this has to be one of the most awesome things I've ever seen. Just the power of nature hitting and just stripping all of this bark off the trees and just splintering it all. And the power of this avalanche would just kill everything in its path. This avalanche probably hit the forest just a couple of weeks ago. It would have moved up to 150 miles an hour. 100,000 tons of snow breaking tree trunks as if they were twigs. And you can see what I'm actually walking on here. This is all the pine and the earth is actually on top of the snow. And this stuff hitting would just be like concrete. Uh, splintering all these trees, look at this, just ripping them apart. And, you know, basically, this is all that's left of an entire pine forest. Amazing. But the avalanche has given me the chance of finding something to eat. And you don't need to be an expert animal tracker to know that something, uh, something has died around here, just a stench alone. There's definitely a dead animal around. Yeah, look, look, hang on, if I move this, look, you can see this looks like a... Let's get this out of the way. This looks like a dead... Like a sham... I think this is a chamois, yeah. And this has obviously just been caught in the eye of the avalanche. And along with a load of other animals that just, you know, have their burrows in the trees, this is just another animal that would have been killed. And you can just see all the, all the guts of this here. And, this is all rotting away, but oh, look, yeah, you go look under under this stuff. There's some maggots feeding off this, and, and even though I don't want to be going near the flesh of this, these maggots are living, and these are good protein and really good energy, massive calories. And the way to eat these uh, is you bite off the head because that's a really disgusting bit. In fact, the whole maggot is pretty disgusting. Uh, but then you just eat the body. Uh, but I want to be taking a bit of these now, a few for bait and a few for food. Now I'm going to use my maggots as bait to find something more substantial to eat. The only question is what to do with them. The weather's taken. Uh, a definite turn for the worse now and it's much windier and it's started to snow and it makes moving and visibility uh, much more difficult but this is a really good chance to try and find something to eat and the first few days it was fine not eating very much but now I've just got to keep eating uh, every day if I can. I am definitely on a frozen lake and you can just tell uh, just the way it's really slushy uh, and you can see it's just a few digs down and I'm just into into water here and this is probably the ice is only probably uh, three or four inches thick and I've got to be really careful on this stuff but with a little bit of effort I should be able to dig a decent enough hole here get through to the slush and then through those few inches of ice and the idea what I want to do is put out a night line um, with some hooks and with a bit of my paracord and try and catch uh, a couple of fish that's the plan I've um, got a nice size hole here all the way through the water and that should do and what I'm going to do now is that I've got a little bit of a weight from just a rock and then I've made some a uh, little bit of thread out of the paracord as a line and then just put some makeshift hooks along here which I've made just from a bit of the wire from my parachute harness and I'm putting these maggots on these hooks and I'm hoping that these trout in here are going to be pretty inquisitive at the end of a long winter and the idea also of putting hooks all the way along this line is to try and get to uh, get to the fish at all different levels of the lake but like all things uh, it's a bit makeshift but the essence of survival is just keep trying keep trying anything you can think of that's going to help you and give you food Right, and the last thing I need to do now 
is use some of these spruce branches and stuff these right down into the hole. And the idea of this is that this hopefully stops the hole freezing over. This is where most people get this wrong, is that they get all the effort to make their lines, their hooks, get through the ice. They might even catch some fish, but when they come to get it, their hole's frozen over. I can't wait around to see if the fish bite. In survival situations, don't rely on just one source of food. My luck seems to be in. I've just been watching a pair of golden eagles circling above me, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful sight. Uh, but I tell you what, they're not just circling for fun. They're looking for, looking for food. And I'm pretty certain what they're after is the owner of these prints. And I've just come across these, and these are, these are probably, I think, fox prints. And you can see the whole paw, and actually the claw marks in there. And they think it's dinner but they're not as hungry as me. I want to beat them to it, and I reckon if I follow this, I might catch up with this fox. I follow the fox's tracks. Then I see him. I'm hoping that he's hunting rabbits. If he gets one, my plan is to chase him off the kill and take the meat myself. He's heard me. There'll be no rabbit for dinner tonight. Time to head back to the lake and check my fishing line. Let's have a look. The, the bottom one had something on it. And, and yeah, Lisa Wrigley's been a, obviously it's pretty starved auction putting out there, but uh, there's no way I can make a fire on this and cook it. Uh, but these, these trout are just fine to eat raw. And if I get my finger on its gills here and bite into this, and as soon as I bite into it, uh, it's going to break its spinal cord and we'll kill it. But this is just the energy that I'm going to need for today. At last, food. meal inside me, I don't want to leave it too late to find shelter. I'm heading for that mountain. With luck, I might be able to find somewhere there for the night.